Hello, and welcome to this Infinite Skills presentation on Learning Puppet. Puppet is a configuration management tool that systems administrators and developers use to manage and maintain the development and deployment of software systems and servers. The problem that Puppet aims to solve is a very simple, yet a complex problem. And that problem is the problem of consistency. When we deploy software to web servers, to desktops, or to any computational system, we should be concerned with how consistent we are in that deployment. Does our development environment look like our QA environment, which looks like our production environment? If these environments are a little bit different, our software may not behave in the way that we expect across all of our systems. So Puppet aims to solve this problem of consistency by introducing something called configuration management. In general, Configuration management is the practice of expressing our infrastructure as code. When we identify our infrastructure as code, it means that we can either stand up virtual servers or potentially even physical servers that look the same, have the same software and operating system configurations, and even deploy software in a repeatable and consistent manner. When the environments are repeatable and consistent, we can start to build on those environments, modify them, and make changes without worrying that we have some incompatibilities from one system to another or in servers over time. There are a few different approaches to doing this, and there are other tools as well. You may have heard of Ansible, perhaps the Salt Stack, a tool called Chef. In this video series, we're going to talk about a tool called Puppet and the tools that grow in the Puppet ecosphere. No matter which tool we use, Repeatability and consistency is a key to managing virtual infrastructures and even cloud infrastructures where we can create and destroy computational resources as we need them. I'll give you a reference here to a presentation given by Gene Kim where he discusses the importance of being able to express our infrastructure as something repeatable and consistent. He notes, along with a few others, in studying how organizations deploy and manage their infrastructure, that one of the most common factors to success in software deployment and creating flexible and reusable systems is the ability to have a defined infrastructure that can be version controlled, something that we can build on, repeat, and use consistency. Mr. Kim notes in his research that the ability to express our infrastructure as code and maintain that in source control is an even greater indicator than organizations that don't keep the software they're deploying as source code. It's the consistency of the environment and the software running in it that is key to maintaining a large and successful software deployment. In this video series, we'll specifically look at a few items related to the Puppet ecosphere. We'll learn what Puppet is and how it helps us to manage computer systems. We'll focus mainly on server infrastructures and local development of server infrastructures in most of the examples we'll see. We'll see what tools we have available in the Puppet ecosphere. That includes tools like the Puppet agents and masters that we use to control the installation and configuration of software. It will include how Puppet interacts across an entire infrastructure from agent to master and even to reporting the results of our Puppet runs, and what the state of our infrastructure is at any given point in time. We'll also take a look at some additional tools that can help us to manage a Puppet infrastructure. And those tools being something called mCollective, which allows us to push and maintain configurations and commands across tens to hundreds to thousands of nodes. And a tool called PuppetDB, which maintains a record of our Puppet runs and also keeps a database of the current state of every item in our infrastructure at any given point in time. We'll learn some basics of the Puppet language. We'll learn how to write a Puppet manifest. We'll learn how to organize those manifests into reusable modules. And we'll also see how we can use the Puppet language to maintain different kinds of resources on our server systems. And finally, we'll discuss a little bit about the command and control of an infrastructure with Puppet and with mCollective. I hope you find this video series useful in not only learning Puppet, but also learning about what Puppet can do and how you can get to know a little bit more about Puppet and how to deploy your own Puppet infrastructure.